Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to CData Arc. This video shows how you can get started sending and receiving AS2 messages in a two-step process that takes mere minutes. It's also the first part of a three-part series covering end-to-end -end EDI integration. First AS2, then back-end integration, and then finally EDI translation and mapping. So let's get started. AS2 setup in CData Arc happens in two places. First the profile page, then the flows page. We'll start with the profile. The AS2 profile is where you configure the details that identify you during an AS2 exchange. The required properties here are your AS2 identifier and the digital certificate that you use for encryption and signing. CData Arc includes a test certificate, but you shouldn't use this in production. However, there is a create certificate tool for generating self-signed certificates that can be used in production. Before moving off the profiles page, it's worth noting the public URL field. This is a public link that shows your AS2 configuration details to your trading partner. So you can simply send them this link to help them configure your connection details on their end. So that's step one for AS2 setup, the profile. Let's move on to the flows page for step two. We've already configured our own AS2 details. Now we need to configure the AS2 details for our trading partners. Each trading partner requires a separate AS2 connector. So I'll drag one into the flows canvas. After creating the connector, I can see the configuration panel here on the right. This is where I enter my trading partner's AS2 details, like their AS2 identifier, their receiving URL, and their certificate. For this video, I will configure a self-test, meaning that Arc is sending AS2 messages to itself. This is just for demonstration purposes, and it's important to realize that normally these AS2 connectors are configured with your partner's AS2 information, not Arc's. With that said, I'll go ahead and configure the three required fields for AS2 communication, which again is your partner's AS2 identifier, then their receiving URL, and finally their digital certificate. Once I've configured each of these properties, I'll go ahead and save my changes and get ready to test the connection. Here in the input tab of the connector, I can generate test files to verify that my connection is working. Once they're created, I'll select them and manually press send across this configured connection. Since Arc is sending to itself in this example, I can find these files that I just sent in the output tab of the connector, because that's where received AS2 messages go. Once again, normally you wouldn't have this circular setup, but hopefully it demonstrates the point. Also normally, I wouldn't want to have to manually send my AS2 messages. This is where automation kicks in. In the Automation tab, Send Automation ensures that files are automatically sent across this AS2 connection when they arrive at this connector in the flow. Nothing further is required to automatically receive inbound AS2 messages since Arc is already listening for those at all times. And that's all you need for a working AS2 connection. You can configure more connections to more trading partners by adding additional AS2 connectors to the flow. AS2 is frequently the first step in establishing an end-to-end -end EDI flow, so the next video will tackle what is commonly the second step, integrating with your backend databases and applications. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video in this series. And as always, you can find more resources at arc.cdata.com.